I'm Ann Blunt. I'm Forge Bruder at the North Florida Research and Education Center located in Quincy, Florida, part of the University of Florida. Today we're going to have a little tour of the perennial peanut research that we've been conducting at the research station. We're going to talk a little bit about its use as a high-end uh, uh, legume hay and also for its ornamental value. So we're starting out here in the introduction area. These are plants that have been collected from of course South America, from Uruguay, uh, Paraguay, Argentina, and Brazil. We've been growing them here since 2005, and the plots are very well established, but it gives you an idea of the type of diversity that there is in this germ class. And so you can see there's uh, different colors of um, foliage, there's a number of different plant introductions that are in heavy flowering. Some produce very few flowers. So from this genetic diversity, we were able to select types that are very productive as far as high-end uh, hay, and then other types that are low-growing and might work as an alternative turf uh, crop for the Southeast United States. Again, perennial peanut is a legume. It is related to groundnut, uh, Arrakis hypogea, but this is Arrakis glabrata, and it reproduces using rhizomes rather than making seed. So when you propagate this, it's propagated vegetatively through rhizomes and is usually spread. However, even though that might slow the spread and the acceptance of perennial peanut, it is certainly well adapted to Southeast United States as a very uh, uh, environmentally friendly, drought tolerant, pest resistant alternative to many turf grasses and certainly uh, our top uh, contender as a southeastern high-end hay crop. So here we are with all our graduate students who are working on perennial peanut studies, various different capacities. But we're going to take a little tour of our varieties. So I'm going to start out with what is a hay type. So this is UF Tito. It was released a number of years ago as one of our premier hay type high-growing forage types. So it is now about 12 inches in height, about ready to be cut and this is the end of May. In comparison, we have much shorter varieties that would work better in an ornamental setting, but this particular variety and some of the other hay types, we would cut at least twice and possibly three times during the growing season, which starts usually about uh, April, and, and it will last until early frost, usually sometime around October. So with uh, two or three cuttings a season, we can estimate getting tonnage anywhere from three to six tons of dry matter of this very high-end legume hay crop. So I want to show you the difference between a forage type and an ornamental type. We looked at Tito, which was released a few years ago by University of Florida as a high-yielding hay type. But here's an example of a very beautiful narrow-leaf perennial peanut that flowers profusely. It's only about six inches tall at this point in, in the end of, at the end of May, compared to 12 inches for Tito. And you can see it, it make an absolutely lovely, lovely ground cover. So this particular line has been released. It is called Cowboy. It is a patented variety, and it's now available for use as an alternative to turf grass. Okay, I'd like to show you a very old variety that at one point was fairly popular, although not as popular as Fleurgrace. This is the variety called Arbrook. It is actually at this point in May 15 inches tall, so a little bit taller, a little bit more productive than UF Tito and the other uh, very popular hay type UF piece. The reason this is not as popular is it tends to have a problem with leaf shed from leaf scorch, that's a disease that affects perennial peanut. But a very old variety, one of our first original hay types, and you can see extremely productive when it doesn't have any disease issues to contend with. The next variety we're going to show you is called Fleurgraze. So Fleurgraze is the most commonly grown perennial peanut in the southeast United States. We estimate it's easily on over 30,000 acres across the southern part of, of the country. Uh, because when it was first released, it was very productive, 
Uh, it has become widely used. But over the years, it developed a virus called peanut stunt virus, which, like its name, is a stunting virus and affects the root system of the plant. And you can see there's a yellow cast over it. In a minute, you'll see a close-up of what the leaf looks like, the telltale signs of virus. But compared to Arbor and compared to Tito, this plant, Fleurgraze, is only at about seven inches in height. And if you look down into the canopy, it's still holding its leaves, but it's just now starting to develop some leaf spotting. And you can still see the peanut stunt virus uh, until a little later this year when the plant will actually outgrow how quickly the virus spreads in the plant and the plant will actually turn a little bit darker green. So this is Ecoturf. This plant was released uh, as a germplasm by University of Florida and it was well adapted as an intermediate type. So if you wanted to use a plant that could work both for hay and as an ornamental, Ecoturf, when it's been cut, flowers beautifully. But you can see that in late May, it's already at nine inches at height. So not as productive as UF Tito or UF Peace or even Arbrook, but certainly a fairly good hay producer as well as a beautiful flowering plant that would work well in an ornamental setting. This is used by a lot of municipalities to this day in Florida on medians where there's high traffic areas or uh, lawns that are looking for ways to incorporate an environmentally um, friendly type of ground cover. The last variety I'm going to show you is UF Peace. It was released at the same time as UF Tito as one of our best hay producing types. Here it's only registering about 7 inches in height compared to 12 inches for Tito. It's a little bit delayed in its season of growth habit. So Tito produces very early on and this will come on and produce a little bit later, but season total tonnage would be very similar. So again, UF Peace and UF Tito are our two newest high-end hay producing types and you've seen already some of the more ornamental varieties and intermediate varieties that we have in our program. Thank you for joining us as we took a virtual tour through our perennial peanut plots at the North Florida Research Station at Quincy, Florida. And all our graduate students in the background are all involved in research to forward um, the, the knowledge base that we have on perennial peanut for its use across the southeastern United States.